Well, Geothermal International is a company which uses the ground as a source of energy for heating and cooling buildings to really lower the carbon footprint of the buildings we are involved in. The idea of ground source is to exploit the very even temperature you get in the ground. <coughs> The ground in the UK is pretty constant at 12 degrees C and it's that constant bath of energy that we are using in ground source technology. The technology was really invented with the heat pump. The heat pump is simply a device we use to move heat from a cold place to a hot place. Uh, the technology to put pipe in the ground, which is our heat exchanger mechanism, has improved dramatically over the years. Typically we find, certainly for larger commercial buildings, the payback for the cost savings alone can be as short as three to six years. As the buildings get smaller, then the savings proportionally get smaller. By putting cold water into the ground, the ground will naturally warm up that water and so we're extracting heat. Now similarly to cool the building, we can put hot water into the ground and naturally it will then cool as it flows through the ground by moving heat around rather than burning fossil fuels to create heat or using air conditioning units to just simply dump heat into the atmosphere, then we get an incredible efficiency advantage over conventional equipment. <laughs> Cavemen lived in caves because they were nice and warm in the winter and nice and cool in the summer, so really ground source or geothermal technology is very old. Well, the initial concept for an energy pile scheme is to use the holes that are being drilled anyway to support the building, to use those to put pipe in. It's a very cheap way of putting that pipe in the ground. Geothermal technology does require electricity to run it, so there is a cost to move the heat around between the ground and the building. I think the key point is that it moves an awful lot more energy around than it consumes. The concept is that we simply use the holes that are being installed. They're going to be filled with concrete. We simply put some pipe in it first. We should have been doing it an awful long time ago. As the focus on the environment and indeed on fuel costs has increased, then the spread of the technologies is almost inevitable, really. They're connecting up the pipework by the process of electrofusion, which involves putting it together, taking a barcode reading off the fitting, and basically just fusing the joint together. As a heat source, gas is about 80 to 90 percent efficient, but using ground source, we are talking maybe four to 500 percent efficient. So for every kilowatt we are buying, we are getting four to five kilowatts put into the building.